In this video, we will show you how to log into your Moapa Valley Telephone Router and check your wireless settings. First, you're going to open up your favorite web browser. It can be Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, or Safari, it doesn't really matter. But in this example, we're going to use Internet Explorer. Up here in the address field, we're going to type in the address of the DSL router, which happens to be 192.168.1.1. And this will be the ad default address for all of the routers, unless for some reason we have changed it on yours. And then go ahead and click uh, Enter and it's going to bring you to prompt you for a username and password. Now some cases uh, it may take you to a search engine, maybe Google or someplace like that. Uh, if that happens, go ahead and type in the HTTP colon slash slash and then 192.168 is, is what shows up here. Uh, you'll probably see this. This might happen on the newer versions of Internet Explorer and Google Chrome. Uh, Firefox and Safari I have never seen that happen on. But go ahead and for username, type in user. And under password, type in user. And then go ahead and click OK to log you in. Now this logs you into the DSL modem. There's, there's different things you can change here, but we're going to focus on the uh, wireless for now. So go ahead and click on the wireless. And you can see the wireless is enabled. You see right here, this is what's called your SSID. And this is the, uh, the ID of your wireless network. Um, most cases it's going to say Comtrain and it's going to have four uh, unique uh, numbers and letters at the end. Uh, in other cases it might have your last name. just depends on how it was set up. Next we're going to click on Security. And under Network Authentication you'll see that we're using uh, WPA2-PSK. This, this is the best security that, that we offer on these modems. Um, you also see here the, uh, the pre-shared key passphrase. If you click here to display it, this will show you what your wireless key is. Well, a lot of times when you connect to a wireless network and it prompts you for a wireless key, this is what they're asking for. On, by default, most of our modems use the MAC address. And the MAC address is a unique uh, num set of numbers and, and characters that's assigned to your, to your modem. If you turn the uh, modem over and look, there's a spark code of the little sticker, and it'll show you what that MAC address is. Uh, some of your some modems will have network authentication as being open, and if it, your modem looks like this, this means that there's no encryption, no nothing. Anybody can connect to it. Uh, in other cases, um, it may web encryption may be turned on. So we'll go ahead and turn on web encryption on this one. If you look, it says we're using 128-bit encryption, network key is 1, and so we need to need to enter something for the network key. It says enter 13 ASCII characters. So a lot of times what we'll do is we'll enter the person's first initials, 1, plus their 10-digit telephone number. So in this case, uh, I'll enter my first initials, and then I'll put a 1, and 702-397-2601, which happens to be the number of the telephone company and then you go ahead and click save and apply and that would set up web um, probably wouldn't use web unless for some reason you have to I'd use WPA2-PSK um, the reason you might want to use web is if you've got an older older wireless device it just doesn't support the newer standards uh, finally we're going to go look at uh, at the channels that your wireless network uses so we'll go ahead and click on advanced and in this case, uh, the channel right here is set to auto. Now, in auto, it's supposed to find the freest channel and pick that one. So it looks like it's found channel 1, it likes channel 1, and that's the one it's using. Um, if for some reason, maybe auto's not working, or you think that the channel selection is not doing what it's supposed to, you can go in here and, and pick a channel. And you'll see you'll have 11 choices here. However, uh, the only real choices you have, I mean, you can select any one of the 11 plus auto, but the only real choices you have are 1, 6, and 11. And that's because of something called overlapping channels. Uh, if you want to learn more about those, I suggest you just do a Google search on overlapping wireless channels and explain all you ever wanted to know about that. But, uh, you know, say, say maybe you pick channel 3, 
channel 3 is going to overlap with channel 1 and channel 6. So channel 3 might not be a, a good selection. So go ahead and either pick auto, 1, 6, or 11 to avoid the, to avoid the overlapping channel problem. And then once you picked your channel that you like, go ahead and click save and apply. And that will save it and you should be good to go. Thank you.